only one God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There is only one name given for our salvation, the name of the Lord Jesus. There is only one Spirit, the Spirit of God, that leads us every day. Let us glorify that name, that God, with all our power. Let us lift, lift up our hearts to that God and praise Him and glorify Him. Jesus, we love Thee, we praise Thee, we adore God who knows everything that happens in our lives, who has got power of over everything and everyone, who can control everything, at the same time who allows freedom for all his children. Let us glorify that God who loves us and from that love, He allows that freedom for us in our lives. Let us worship and glorify that God. Spirit, we love Thee, we praise Thee, we adore. said I will not leave you orphaned I will come to you after his death he came again to his disciples to his people and then now for us today he is present in this Eucharist and whenever we gather in his name According to his promise, he is there with us. Let us once again glorify that Lord Jesus who is present with us right now. Jesus, we love thee, we praise thee, we adore. spirit of truth comes he will lead you into all the truth the Holy Spirit Spirit of God 
is helping us even in these moments when we worship when we glorify the lord the same spirit is working active within our hearts he's the spirit who helps us to praise and worship god in spirit and truth with the holy spirit with the help of that spirit let us worship god and we worship him as the spirit spirit we love you we praise the we adore the glory seen god god the son who was at the side of the father has revealed him for us jesus is still revealing his father for us through his words and through his intervention in our daily life we come to know the real nature of god that is the nature of a father let us glorify let us love that father who is revealed through jesus for us and who is being revealed even now while we worship him father we love thee we praise thee we adore Jesus, we praise you, our Holy Spirit, we praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, we praise you, worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 5, that is a credo formula. The people of Israel, they often proclaimed, glorified God, repeating this formula. That's why in the Old Testament, in other books also, we will read the same. If this is about the nature of God. I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and the fourth generation of those who reject me, but showing steadfast love to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. This is not to say about, mention about God's nature that he punishes to the third and fourth generation for the sins of the parents. More than that, there we understand the real nature of God when we read or when they proclaimed, but showing steadfast love to the thousand generation. We cannot compare his mercy for what the parents have done, glorifying him. He will bless even to the thousandth generation. It speaks about mercy of God, love of God. When we compare with thousandth generation, third and fourth they are nothing. So now we are before that God. We are praying before that God for his mercy upon the whole world. Dear brothers and sisters, once again, we bring before the Lord who knows everything about us and also who desires that we like children have to ask before him for our needs. That shows again and again our trust in him. Our faith is again and again manifested when we repeat the same prayer. We have the perseverance in our prayer. So let us pray for the mercy of God sur surrendering the whole world, especially those who are afflicted, those who are sick, those who are under a lot of conflicts and confusions, and especially those who find it very difficult to break the chains of their sinful lives. Let us pray together. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. And the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O found of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a found of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a found of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a found of mercy for us. I trust in you. O Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen. I believe in God the Father amen. almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood so and even it the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy 
on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and love, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus. sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world For the sake Of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And on the whole world For the sake Of a sorrowful passion Have mercy on us And on the whole world for the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake. Of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Dear brothers and sisters, in the book of Exodus chapter 14 and in the book of Joshua chapter 3, There we read about Yahweh's miraculous intervention in the lives of people of God. The Israelites, 
they experienced the power of god and from their experience these experiences they were able to proclaim him as the real redeemer of their lives god was forming a nation for him he was revealing himself as the only one god in the book of exodus chapter 14 there we see the israelites they are crossing the red sea moses he was leading the people pharaoh was ready to release them when god manifested in different ways his power in egypt and when the people of israel they left egypt as we read pharaoh again he changed his mind and he is sending his army after the israelites and now they are almost near to the red sea before them there is red sea and behind them the army of pharaoh and the people they started shouting at moses complaining against to him and now moses is speaking for god in the name of the lord and god revealed his plan for moses dear brothers and sisters the people of israel they were not able to do anything against the army of egypt of pharaoh they cannot fight with that army and in front of them the red sea and that's the time god manifested his power in an unexpected way they had never heard of such things in their lives they had never heard of a god like this god asked moses to stretch out his staff towards the sea and the sea was divided and through the dry ground the people could cross the river and in the book of joshua chapter 3 there we read under the leadership of joshua the people they are crossing the river jordan and even before that god had promised joshua i will be with you as i was with moses i will be with you as i was with moses so again through a similar experience god is revealing to joshua and the people that god was still with them and here in a different way instead of a staff in the hands of joshua here god wants to reveal the power of his presence in the ark of the covenant the priests who were bearing the ark of the covenant god said when the sole of the feet of the priests touches the water the water will be divided and that happened and the river was divided again through the dry ground the people they crossed jordan dear brothers and sisters these events have got something to teach us in our lives often we may undergo such experiences before us there is a sea and behind us there are people or the powers which we cannot conquer 
or defeat or our problems are like them and we are frightened just like the people of israel we also make complaints complaints against god complaints against our leaders and especially about against those who preach to us about this powerful god and we also ask now where is your god where is the power of god we start doubting god in the new testament we see an event when a boy was brought to the apostles by his dad he was possessed by an evil spirit and jesus had already manifested his power many times casting out demons healing the sick multiplying the bread and jesus gave that power to the apostles but these apostles they failed to cast out the demon from that boy and when jesus came they were asking jesus why we could not cast out this spirit and jesus first he scolded them rebuked them about their lack of faith and he's asking the father of that boy do you believe he said i believe help my unbelief if i have lost my faith when your apostles your disciples they failed to cast out the demon if i have lost my faith help my unbelief and now jesus cast out the demon and later he told the apostles this kind will not go out without prayer or only through prayer these powers will go out dear brothers and sisters there are a lot of events in the sacred scripture that could speak to us about the manifestation of his power and if we reflect about our own lives also we will find god has manifested his power but unfortunately this is our experience when new problems come when we again and again encounter with certain problems we forget our past experiences of god's power and his intervention and we also start doubting we start questioning god and his prophets we give up his words and friend these events of the old testament dear brothers and sisters god wants to remind us certain things first of all just like the people of god was guided by moses one who was chosen from among them god also has chosen for us prophets leaders priests and we have to listen to them god's precepts his commandments his word is revealed through them moses was a person with a lot of weaknesses we know from the scripture but when god was with him when god's power was with him he was so powerful the same way the lord has chosen for us the people from among us and with the lord they are also powerful and god has entrusted them with the responsibility of guiding us let us listen to them when we listen to them we do not listen to their personal words or concepts we are listening to the wisdom and the word of god through them 
and again for the second experience crossing the jordan there the people had ark of the covenant and we know what they had kept in that ark of the covenant of course again word of god means commandments tablets on which the commandments were written manna and the staff of aaron all were the symbols of the power of god and today we also have word of god the holy eucharist and we have a lot of experiences many people in which through whom god has manifested his power we are with them or we have them with us so they must remind us again and again about the power of god when we look forward we may see a great sea in front of us we cannot cross it with our power behind us a lot of powers which could conquer us we are in between them but god is there with us who is able to divide the sea god does not want that we fight with the people we fight with ourselves we fight with our lack of faith we fight with our unbelief we fight with our complaining nature we fight with our doubts what we have to conquer is not those who are speaking against us those who are planning against us no our family members our neighbors those who are in our society they are not our enemies we shall not fight with them we have to fight with our own negative feelings and emotions of fear anxiety hatred doubts and we have to conquer them then we will see the power of god close your eyes for a moment oh heavenly father send your holy spirit upon your children heavenly father you have manifested many times your mercy your love your power your healing power your power of deliverance your miraculous power in our lives still we remain often without in a faith our nature lord more than anyone else you know it we doubt we question we are hesitant to follow your precepts your word help us to believe you are there always in front of us you are the one who is able to break the chains of unbelief fear and anxiety you are the one who is able to make a way a new way before us which our eyes could not see yet unexpected unprecedented way help our unbelief our oh god our oh holy spirit god be active in our hearts help us help us to see the way that the lord has opened before us we do not find a sea which we cannot cross help it to help us to see the dry ground 
before us. Everything was disordered, unusual, abnormal. But by your intervention, everything become, everything becomes usual, very normal, nothing to fear, nothing to be anxious. Oh, parents, you're anxious about your children. Oh, students, you are anxious about your future. Surrender your anxiety, your fear, your doubts, lack of faith, everything before the Lord. Those who are struggling, undergoing conflicts in your lives, surrender them before the Lord. I love the Lord to open a new way before you. Of course, everything will become very normal for you. The Lord is doing that for you. O oh Lord, when we think there is no way, you open way for us. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you for your, for your ways. Help us to understand your way, O oh Lord. children, those who are participating in this worship, you know them very well. Their failures, their fears and anxieties. Oh, Heavenly Father, only you can show a way for them. Many of them are in conflicts, doubts, in sinful ways of the lives. They want to come out of them and to lead a peaceful life. They are fed up often with the problems. Lord, you light a new candle which could show the real way that you have prepared before them. Lord, make a way for them, we pray. will make a way where there seems to be no way he works in ways we cannot see he will make a way for me he will be my God hold me closely to his side with love and strength for each new day he will make a way
Father, your love is new every day. You have your own ways to save us, to heal us, to deliver us. Every time when we are bound by the power of the evil one, when we are bound by our own wrong concepts and ideas, by our negative feelings and emotions, oh Heavenly Father, you have your ways to heal us, deliver us. We believe that you can do that for us. We pray for our family members, we pray for all those who have asked our prayers, surrendering all the prayer requests that we have received here in Divine Retreat Center. We pray for our brothers and sisters. O oh, Heavenly Father, open the new way before them so that they will be able to experience your power, your healing power, your power of deliverance, your consolation in their lives, and they will be able to give witness for you. Open the way for your children, O oh Father. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my God. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make Let us lift up our hands and hearts to the Lord with all our prayers, our requests, all the burdens of our life, fear, anxiety, hatred, jealousy, all the doubts, lack of faith, everything we lift up to the Lord. Let there be a new light for us when His power intervenes and removes everything that is negative that could destroy us, spoil us, and let that power be manifested. There is only one name given for our salvation, the name of Jesus. Only one Savior, only one Redeemer, Jesus. The power which is manifested through the prophets Moses and Joshua in the Old Testament for the people of God, for the Israelites. The same power, power of God is manifested in the New Testament in His Son, through in His Son, Jesus. And again through His apostles. And we believe that power is again and again manifested in the history of salvation through His words, through His Eucharistic presence and His presence that He has promised for us whenever we gather in His name. Believing in that presence and power, let us praise Him with all our prayers. Hallelujah. 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 Above Father, we lift up all our prayers before you. All the fears and anxieties of the lives of your children. 
bless all of us we pray in the mighty name of lord jesus we seek the intercession of blessed virgin mary all the angels and saints together with all those who are worshiping and praising you all over the world right this time we also praise you worship you o lord lord jesus who is present in this holy eucharist this time visit your children manifest your power for all your children those who are at home at their working place wherever they are lord jesus shower your grace manifest your power for them heal them o lord jesus bless them o lord jesus console them o lord jesus give deliverance for them we pray hallelujah 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 praise you lord jesus hallelujah hallelujah we glorify you lord we praise you thank you lord jesus hallelujah 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 thank you lord jesus we praise you hallelujah with the great confidence and with increased faith let us receive his blessing believe that jesus who is the light of the world he removes all the darkness of your life jesus who said i have come for the sinners not for the righteous who forgives you and deliver you from the bondages of your sin jesus who said those who are well do not need the physician but those who are sick the healer he is there to heal you he comes to you receive his blessings in your body mind and soul 